Maturish, and this is a channel where we dish the issue on a mature tip. And uh, this is an episode of Mains by Maturish. And today, I have some human hair to play with. Yeah. It's that time of year, for me anyway, to play with human hair. And there are affordable options. There are options that go all the way up to thousands of dollars. You can have bundles made into human hair wigs. What you want to do, though, is make sure that you get Remy hair. That's my preference. I want all of my hair cuticles going in the same direction. So I make sure that all of the wigs that I buy that are human, and I'm not into custom-made wigs because I don't wear wigs like that. I barely wear wigs at all. I just sometimes like to play with hair. So I like the wig to be the best quality. And I do believe that you get the best quality with Remy. That's R-E-M-Y, Remy hair. Some people make it R-E-M-I, whichever. As long as it says Remy, the cuticle is put into the wig or the bundle, all running the same way, giving the hair a very smooth feel when you run a damp hand over it. If it is Remy, when you run your hand back up the strand of hair the opposite way, it should feel rough because you're moving against the cuticle. That's not what you want. That means tangles later down the road. It means problems later down the road. So what I have for here for you here today is a matey wig. You know, I love matey wig. I think I think matey makes some of the best or made M A Y D. They make some of the best wigs on the market. Um, so I went for one of their human hair wigs. Now, this is the wet and wavy, cute and curly, or it doesn't really have a name, <laughs> thank God. But every human hair wig that I've ever purchased had a chemical smell to me. I don't care how much I paid for it, whether it was $75 or $175, human hair wigs smell odd to me. I don't know what the chemical is that I'm smelling, but I have to shampoo and co-wash the hair. So I've already done that. And this is post shampooing and co-washing. She's a little frizzy looking. The curls are not popping. The curl pattern isn't real good in a lot of places, but we're going to fix that with a little bit of mousse and some water and so forth and so on. These are fun to play with when they're wet. They look really gorgeous. Um, I don't recommend using gel to make the curls pop because you get kind of a crunchy cast all over your wig and sometimes flaking. That's probably not what you want, but Let's get started here. Welcome back to the channel, by the way. Looks like you might have subscribed. Uh, you hit the button over there. Did, did you do that button? Well, good to see you. This is a pop and go human hair wig, okay? And there was no lace to cut off. I can cut off lace, but who, if you don't have to, why bother? On either side of the part, in the front, two combs, typical caps construction with one comb in the back and the elastic strap with piano keys that you can adjust it. I have them on the largest adjustment right now. We'll see how that fits me. I've got on my whole wig grip cap, so it's going to be a little bit tighter. And it does have a very sharp, short, short, S-H-O-R-T, I can spell it. There we go. Short part in the center. There we go. You can see my hand under there. So I'm trying this on for the first time since shampooing it. And not really run my fingers through. I haven't done anything this big, actually. But shampoo it because it did come with that chemical smell. And she's looking kind of wild and frizzy right now. Let's see if we can start out by straightening her up. That usually helps. Let me move my mirror back around this. Now, I think she's pretty the way she is, except for she needs some more curls to be popping. So I have a Mr. Bottle. Yeah, it's just water. I don't put conditioner in the water. This is These are just hair ties to keep me from dropping the bottle. Um, I don't put conditioner in the water because what I'm going to do is use um, Auntie Jackie's Curl Lala because I like to use that as a conditioning defining curl custard. It's my favorite one. It smells so good. <laughs> Maybe that's why I like it the best. I don't really know. But anyway, let's start out by doing one side of the hair. And what all I'm going to do is mist the hair. It makes it easier to put the curl custard in if you mist the hair. Get it good and damp. Now, remember, it's about to be fall, so you may not want to walk around with wet hair. I certainly don't. But that helps define the curls just a little bit more. Then we're going to go in and get some Auntie Donna. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a lavender color. 
but it doesn't smell lavender. It has a very floral smell to it, but lavender isn't. No, not lavender, but whatever it is, it smells good to me. And you can see it's kind of a mayonnaise-y, custardy kind of stuff. And we're going to rub this between our hands. Make a mess. And then we're going to put it all through the wet side of our wet and wavy wig. And as you can see, it immediately changed the curl pattern back to a more popping kind of curl looking thing. Now, this is where you take your hand and you go in and you shape the wig the way you want it. And if you want it a little bit bigger, run your hands through it. This, I'm get, I haven't gotten one single hair out of this wig. Not through all the co-washing, not through the, I, I shampooed it, I co-washed it. That's, you know, putting condition, essentially shampooing it with condition. I usually only co-wash my wigs, but this one smelled so odd, I had to go on and shampoo it first. But look at the curl pattern, how pretty that is. And it makes the curl pops. Compared to this side, which is just kind of frizzy and poofy, this side has more defined curls that I can control. And of course, when the hair is slightly damp, it's gonna look longer or when the curl pattern becomes elongated. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. We're gonna do the other side, which as you can see, is totally different. Okay, let's do this side. We're just gonna mist it up just like we did the other. No conditioner in the water for me. To me, that's just hashtag too much stuff going on in my wig. And I don't like to weigh the hair down with stuff when all I need is just simple water. Then I'm going to get some of the Auntie Donna's. I love this stuff. <laughs> Make me a mess in my hands. And then I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side, on this side. I'm simply going in and making sure it gets all the way to the ends of the curls to make them poppy. Poppy? Is that a word? To make them look more like they're popping. Again, there I have gotten not one hair falling out of this wig yet. Not one, not a single hair. Tangles, no tangles. Not one tangle, not one bit of hair shedding. I forgot to do this little bit piece in the back on this side and I felt it on the other side. So I'm gonna go back and circle back around and do that. Now, you can take your Denman brush or your Denman type brush and go all the way through. And that makes sure that the curling custard gets all the way through to the ends of the hair. Now is the time to go in and fluff and puff or puff and puff, whatever you want to call it, child. Now's the time to play with the wig if you want to. While it's slightly, remember, I, I didn't wet this wig down for the gods and I do have curling custard everywhere. <laughs> Get that off my hands. But um, I don't like to wet the wig down to where it's just soaking wet and dripping. I can't, I, I can't stand that on me. And so I try not to do that, but there's no hair still coming out of this. This is amazing. Cause usually you're going to get some shedding, a little bit of shedding, maybe not. This side is a little bit drier. This side's drying. I used a little more water on this side than I did the other side. So I'm gonna use my comb which gives it a little more aeration than the brush does. You know, on a curly wig, it's hard to tell how long they are simply because they're curly wigs. But this one is purportedly 14 inches. If I stretch it out, the curls out, yeah, it probably is. Um, but when you buy a curly wig, make sure that you check on the model, the neck length, the, the type of curls. This is a wet, wavy deep curly so this is the next step from a jerry there's the, there's another curly wig called the jerry curly wig and it has teeny tiny little jerry curl looking things going on i'm not about that one but this one has just enough curl and just enough flu floof flu floof it's flu floof a word did i just make that up it has enough flu floof <laughs> that you have a nice style you have human hair, you have Remy hair. Now this one is all 1B. There is no, I didn't, it, this is virgin hair. 
It's never been chemically altered. Virgin hair. It's Remy hair. All the cuticles go in one direction. And it was an affordable price. This is a Matey wig. You can buy this on the same sites that you buy Matey synthetic wigs. And it is affordable. This is, a, is an affordable option. Now, when I do another human hair wig, not, well, soon when I do another, I'll bring out one of my more expensive wigs. And you'll, I'm not sure you could tell the difference in an expensive wig and a cheap wig. If you want to do baby hairs, you can certainly go here, pull the hair down, cut it off, do whatever makes you happy. I'm not going out like that. I just, I just like my hair. I don't like hair in my face. So this is perfect for me. Just perfect for me. And as you can see, I'm able to get the comb all the way through. Now, if I want more curls, I will quit combing. <laughs> because it's going to get fluffier and bigger. And the older it gets, it's going to get fluffier and bigger. So anticipate that when you start to comb it out. Y'all know I like big hair. I don't care. It don't make me no difference whatsoever. I like big hair. But if you don't want the hair to get bigger, once you wet it and you put your curling pudding, custard, whatever you decide to use in it, don't keep fooling with it because it's going to get bigger as it gets drier. Now, mine will stay pretty much the way it is right now. Here she is from the right. I think she is really pretty. Here she is from the left. And I'm going to show you the back. And she's got plenty of bouncing and behaving going on back there. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's very simple. Very simple human hair wig. You don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a human hair wig. Of course, you can. If you want to, you certainly can. But for the money, here's how I look at it. For the money, if you like synthetic wigs, and they have improved over the years. I've said that many times. They've improved over the years. If you like synthetic wigs and you want to change out your wigs and you don't mind throwing a wig away and repurchasing every six months to a year, you do that. If you like human hair, now human hair is going to start out more expensive. It always starts out more expensive simply because it's human hair. <laughs> Get Remy hair. If you want to dye it, um, bleach it, get virgin hair because it's never been chemically processed. Now, Remy hair, you can go in and try and bleach it or uh, highlight it. I generally like my natural wigs in a natural color, maybe a little bit of that 1B30, but for the most part, I like my natural wigs in the natural color. And you see this side, because I use less water, is more dry than this side. This side's got a little ways to go. I don't know about that. Here we go. There she goes. She's drying out now. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is run some powder up this part. Same thing you do with a synthetic wig. I can't say one is a better value. It depends on your pocketbook. Human hair is an investment. They gonna last, they're going to last longer if you if, if, take care of the wig. Don't be playing. Don't be playing. You know you got to take care of the wig. You can't just like go, oh, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to play with this wig. I'm going to throw it in a quarter. The way that I shampoo my wigs, I lay them on a towel to drip for a few minutes. Then I put them on wig hangers. Mm -hmm. Hang them on the shower curtain rod. And let the wigs air dry. I suppose if you're in a hurry, you can blow dry your wigs. I don't see how you're going to keep a wig very long, beating it to death with a blow dryer. I mean, it's human hair. It's going to act like hair. And you're going to end up with less hair. Now, see, I love, I love curly hair. This is, this is, this is, this is my get down right here. I love, I love a good curly wig. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for coming back to share another video with me. This has been Mains by Matourish. This is the matey, wet, wavy, deep, curly, Remy human hair wig. I'll put the price down in the description box. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Again, this is a pop and go. There was no lace. This is beginner friendly. Is it big hair friendly? You know, I have on a full wig grip cap. So, you know what? I'm going to say this is big hair friendly because this comes way down past where my natural it's almost down, it's 
almost down to the cartilage in my ear. That's a long way down. That's a long way down. But there was no lace to cut off, which I don't know about you, but that makes me happy. <laughs> and it's still a human hair wig. And like I said, I don't know if if your wigs will arrive with the chemical smell. I've heard other people say that they don't smell anything or that their wig didn't arrive with a chemical smell. It's always possible. For me, I have never had a human hair wig that did not have an odor to it. I don't care how much I paid for it. Now, the wrapping smelled real good. The wig had a smell. It's real easy to shampoo the wig. You want to use regular shampoo and warm water. You Make sure that the wig isn't all tangled up. And you see this wig does, doesn't tangle. She doesn't tangle and she doesn't shed. So you want to take a big tooth comb or your Denman brush. Untangle your wig before you shampoo. Dunk it gently in the water up and down. Make sure that the soap gets all the way through. If you have a lace front, make sure you clean the lace because that's nasty. <laughs> if you have combs in your wig, make sure you're clearing the combs. You won't want to get stuck in the head with a dirty comb and end up with some kind of infection in the top of your Never mind. At any rate, co-wash your wigs if you can. That's simply putting warm water in the sink, adding conditioner, hair conditioner, whatever you've got on hand. You don't have to have anything special. I happen to like Orr's Olive Oil brand everything. And put the conditioner in there. Do the same thing that you did with the shampoo. Make sure that all the fibers and hairs and the pieces and the lace and the parts and all that stuff gets cleaned. I lay mine on a towel for a few moments because I hate drippy water running everywhere. Allow it to dry for a few moments there. Then I put it on a wig stand. My wig stands are completely open. I'll bring one to the next video so you'll see what my wig stands look like because they actually hang on my closet rods. But that makes it very easy and that's all there is to do. So again, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Mains by Matures. If you haven't subscribed, it's free 99. We don't charge you a thing to become a member and a friend over here. When you come back, bring your friends, bring your kin. Just come back again and sit back, enjoy, have a cup of coffee with us and play in some hair. Because that's all we do over here is play in hair. We like wigs. We like them a lot. And remember that you're special because nobody can do you the way you do you. And nobody's going to do me. So until next time, have a great day, week, weekend, whatever, and I'll see you later. Bye.